Hey friends, welcome back. Uh, I've got a small, cute creature behind me. So I wonder how long she's going to spend with us. So today I want to talk about something that I've gotten many questions about. <laughs> um, and this question is how you can fire your clay without a kiln. Spoiler alert, you can't. Um, not real clay anyway. There are some alternatives which I want to go over in this video. But it wasn't until this comment that I got here and I'm going to put it on the screen um, that made me realize I really do need to talk about this because I wanted to get a few things straight about what clay is and um, what you can do with it and the various options for different materials that you can work with. So to answer this person's question really quick, you cannot and should not ever, ever, ever eat or drink out of air dry clay or polymer clay, oven baked clay. Uh, never, never, never. <laughs> Please don't do that. It's not good for you. So I don't want to stop anyone from experimenting with pottery. This is like my goal here with this whole channel is to encourage you to e experiment and have fun. Uh, but what in this video I will call real clay is the only clay that you can make tableware out of. So this is mugs, uh, cups, plates, bowls, anything that you're going to use with food or drink. You should only be using real clay, aka ceramic, actual ceramics to come in contact with your food. So I'm going to cover three different types of clay uh, in this video, um, what they are, what they're good for, and uh, what you can make from them. So let's go. So we'll start with real clay, and this is the clay that I use. Now this is basically the same material that people have been using for over 18,000 years. It's what connects us to our ancestors. Real clay can be used for basically everything. Your only limit uh, is really the size of your kiln. So you can make tableware, but you can also make sculpture. Yeah, whatever uh, you want, really. Real clay is also the only clay that I would trust for outdoor sculpture as well. So it does have that added benefit there. So what is real clay though? Um, a lot of people ask me this question. It's literally dirt from the ground. Now it's definitely more specific than that. Um, the mixtures vary wildly, but um, most clays include kaolin, mica, quartz, feldspar, silica, alumina, iron, uh, or all of the above. So basically you just mix these materials together, you add some water, and you have clay. Um, of course, the actual ratios and stuff is a lot more complicated than that, but um, yeah, that's basically what it is. So pros and cons of this material. Um, in my opinion, there's a lot of pros. It, you can use it for many things. Uh, types of clays are very diverse. It's long lasting. You know, they found uh, fragments for, that are 18,000 years old. Um, it's also quite sustainable, um, as long as you're using sustainable energy to power your kiln. And yeah, I mean, it's just great. <laughs> I'm not trying to hide my biases here. Um, the main downside of real clay is uh, accessibility. So um, what I mean by that is kiln accessibility. You can't just use your oven at home to fire uh, real clay. You need to have access to a kiln. If you don't fire that clay, um, you will basically end up with a piece that's extremely fragile and basically useless. Not even for a sculpture, because it'll probably fall apart. However, you certainly don't need to uh, have your own kiln to fire this clay. Um, many cities, towns, uh, villages all over the world will have somewhere in there access to a ceramic kiln. So you just need to figure out where that is and uh, talk to the owner and uh, yeah, make a deal. I have another video on how to find a kiln in your local area. I'll link that down below. Okay, so that's real clay. <laughs> now let's talk about air dry clay. I think this is the clay that I've gotten asked about the most because it seems kind of like the most accessible or, or something, I'm not sure. Um, air dry clay is great, but it's really only useful for sculptures. I mean, I say only, but sculptures can be really a lot of things. The main thing is that it's not a very strong material, so I wouldn't use it for anything that you're using daily. For non-food things, I wouldn't include it in things like jewelry or uh, like pen pot or something like that. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind is that's quite a fragile material even when it's completely dried. But 
what is air dry clay exactly? Um, I didn't know this, I had to do some research and it's kind of funny because it's quite tricky to find uh, what it's made out of. Um, it's not like food where it lists the ingredients on the back of the um, package. It seems like most air dry clays are made with a mixture of paper, resin, and glue. So um, this is not something that you necessarily want to be touching your food. So pros and cons. Um, it's easily accessible. Uh, if you can't for some reason get access to a kiln or if you don't even have an oven, maybe you're a child <laughs> watching this video. Yeah, air dry clay might be the uh, right solution for you. You can also paint it um, and lots of people who use air dry clay will also coat it with some sort of sealant to make it stronger. Um, it's still not going to be that strong, but um, it's definitely an option if you want to prolong the life of your air dry clay or give it a different finish. You can also just paint it with acrylic paint. Um, another another major benefit to air dry clay is that you can embed things into it. So you can put like sticks or stones or, or whatever, uh, plastic, whatever material you want to put inside of it because it's not going into an oven. You can put stuff directly in it. That's pretty cool. You can't do that with real clay or with uh, oven baked clay, which we'll cover next. The only cons, I guess, are what I already mentioned, which is that it's not food safe and it's very fragile, when, even when it's dry. So last but not least, oven baked clay. Um, you may know this under the brand names Fimo or Sculpey. Yeah, I would just categorize all of these into oven baked clay, the type of clay that cures or finishes in a standard oven that you might have in your kitchen. The uses are pretty similar to air dry clay. Definitely you don't want to use it with anything that comes in contact with your food. Uh, however, it's a stronger material. So I think that is much more suitable for uh, functional non-food objects like jewelry or like a pen pot or you know little toys, trinkets, things like that. You can find a lot of people online using uh, polymer clay or oven baked clay uh, to make jewelry and it's very well suited for that. So. What is polymer clay or oven bit clay? Well, it's right inside the name. It's a polymer, uh, specifically polymer polyvinyl chloride or PVC. Uh, you've probably heard of PVC. I think of those white pipes when I think of PVC. Basically, it's a plastic. Um, so obviously you don't want this to come in contact with your food. Um, now, I want to distinguish between because of course we have Tupperware and we have plastic bags and we have plastic straws. There are plastics that are graded for food that are absolutely okay, according to most people, to use with food. However, this type of oven bit clay is not graded for food. In fact, it hasn't even been tested on food. I had to do a little digging on this because I really wanted to get this right. Um, and I found on Sculpey's website, um, it was hidden in the FAQs, which I find a little bit shocking um, that they say they've never tested for food safety and it should not be used for food. Never tested means you don't want to use it for food. <laughs> it probably won't be okay. Uh, I also wanted to mention that um, when I was looking through the FAQs, I noticed that Sculpey isn't vegan, which is like pretty interesting. I wonder what sort of material they're using inside of that that is from an animal. I'll let you guys figure that out. If you have any clue, let me know. So pros and cons of oven baked clay. Um, well, it's definitely a lot more versatile than air dry clay due to its relative strength. Of course, real clay is still going to be stronger than even oven baked clay. Um, a huge benefit is that it comes in all these amazing bright colors and that these colors can be mixed together like paint. So if you have like a red and a white, you can mix them like together to make pink. The only disadvantages I see is that it's um, not food safe and that it's not quite as strong as real clay. It's also plastic, so depending on your uh, feelings about generating plastic, um, that may also be a con. But um, yeah, I think Sculpey is a really cool alternative. Uh, I definitely remember having a lot of fun with Sculpey when I was a kid. It's probably my entry into working with clay uh, from a very young age. So yeah, those are the three clays I wanted to cover. I just want to uh, stress once more that there is no kind of sealant, coating, finish, nothing <laughs> that can turn neither oven bit clay or air dry clay into a food safe clay. It is not existing. You do not ever 
want to eat or drink out of either of these two materials. Just pure, real clay, aka ceramic, is what you want to be using for your food. Um, I'm just saying this because I care about you guys, I care about your health, uh, so don't go messing with that. It's not worth it. If you want to make tableware like I do, that's so cool. I totally understand why you might want to make functional objects. Um, just find yourself a kiln. Like, I really think that it's possible to find this in almost every place, no matter how rural you are. Just check my other video about it. I explain all, the whole process of how you might go and find a kiln in your area. You definitely don't need to buy a kiln in order to use ceramic. Uh, there's a lot of other options out there for you. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. I can't believe the knot has stuck with us this whole time. You're very patient with me today. Yeah, I hope this helped you figure out which clay might be most suitable for you. So please leave a comment down below about what you would like to see me do next. Next video, I definitely want to do a making video. Bye friends! Go away human. Do not disturb the baby dear.